Right, question number seven. A district council constructs a parabolic steel frame to hang a banner. Uh, diagram three shows the front view of the steel frame. Okay, so a rectangular banner A, B, C, D will be hung at position C and D, such that C, D is horizontal. The height of A, B from the ground level is one meter. So this height here, this height here, is one meter. Okay, let me just write one meter. Okay, the edge of A B are tied vertically to the point G H G and H, G and H respectively. It is given that the gradient function of the curve is six minus two x. So they say gradient function, right? Gradient function means dy dx. So dy dx equals to 6 minus 2x okay the distance of gh is 2p so this distance here gh is 2p okay show that the distance eh equals uh, is 3 plus p meter so they are asking for distance of eh so eh is here to here okay so what can we do with this hmm okay the thing is we can first of all either change I mean, you can choose to find the equation of the curve, but it's not going to help you find anything, okay, to solve this. So what we can do is, we can find the maximum point. We can use this equation, find the maximum point, so that we can find the uh, coordinate of this. We want to find the coordinate. So to find the maximum point, dy dx equals to 0. Okay, so question 1, A ai, so dy dx equals to 0 so that means 6 minus 2 x equals to 0 so x equals to 3 so we know that this part here is 3 okay so what does that mean it means the uh, axis is going to be here lah. so this is the x this is the y here is the origin 0 0 so this is 3 meters from the center the maximum point here is x equals to 3 Okay, this line here. Okay, so what does that mean? So if you want to find G, uh, sorry, EH is equals to this whole thing here is 3, right? So 3 plus, so you know this is 2P, so half of 2P is here is P, here is P as well. P plus P is 2P. So that means EH is 3 plus P. Lah. So that's how you show. Okay, alright, next. Hence, express L, the area L, of the banner in terms of P. So now you want to find the area of this banner. So area of this banner, what we can do is, we can we already know here is 2P. So all we have to do is just find this, the height. Okay, To find the height, we will need the equation of the curve. right? Because the height, that means by finding the coordinate C, because we, we know, okay, coordinate C, we know that the x value is what? The x value is eh, right? This is the x value. So the x value is eh, so that means this is 3 plus p. Now we want to find the y value. By finding the y value, we know the height already. Okay? We know the height from C to the x-axis. Okay? By finding the y value of coordinate C. So how to find the y value? We can use the equation of the curve so we have to first find the equation of the curve first so y equals to you have to integrate 6 minus 2x so you get 6x minus 2x square over 2 so you get x square plus c okay so what you're going to do we have to remove the c first how to remove the c we have to substitute any point on the curve so in this case we're going to use the origin so when x, we use 0, 0, huh? so y equals 0, x equals 0. So from here we know c is equals to 0. So in this case, the equation is y equals to um, 6x minus x square. Okay, so uh, I've got no space here, so I'll continue down here. Okay, let me just continue down here. So right here. So we know that the coordinate c is what? First, the x value is 3 plus p. Now you want to find the y value, right? How to find the y value? You just have to substitute into the 
equation of the curve because point C lies on the curve, right? So y equals to 6, so the x is what? 3 plus p minus 3 plus p square. So you get 18 plus 6p minus um, 9, uh, 6p, so minus 6p, and then I get negative p square. Okay, so here's plus 6p minus 6p, I can cut. So what do I have? 18 minus 9 is also 9, so 9 minus p square. So we know that the y value here is 9 minus p square. This is coordinate C, uh, coordinate C. So what do we know, what can we understand from this? 9 minus p square. So we know that the height here, the whole height here is 9 minus p square. So if we just want to find this, we have to take 9 minus p square minus the 1 meter down there. Okay, because we know the height is 1 meter. So yeah, so we can find the area already, length times width. Okay, so the area, okay, let me write here. The area, or oh, I use L because they give L, right? So area L equals to length is 2P times the height. Height is 9 minus P square and then you must minus 1 meter. So I get 2P times 8 minus P square. So I get 16P minus 2P cubed. So this is your answer right last question here if the cost of making the banner is 40 ringgit per square meter calculate the total cost to the nearest rm to make the banner such that its area is maximum so they want to find maximum area so we already have the area here right l equals to this so question b you want to find maximum area so that means you must find the DLDP is equals to zero because you want to find maximum, correct? So that means sixteen p minus sorry, not sixteen p. We already know L is what L is sixteen p minus two p q. So if DLDP is what sixteen minus six p square equals to zero. So 6p square equals to 16. So p is equals to square root. 16 divided by 6 will be 8 over 3. Is it? Eight, oh, yeah, 8 over 3. So square root 8 over 3. If I write in decimal, it will be 1.633. Okay. So the maximum value, for you to find the maximum area, the p value must be 1.633. Okay. So maximum area is equals to 16p minus uh, 2, I said why I use p, 16p is 1.633 minus 2, 1.633 cubed. So 16, okay, oh wait, I straight away find the, I, why am I, I need to find area, straight away find the cost. So maximum uh, cost, total cost, I should say, total cost equals to, so we know it, per meter square is RM40, right? So 40, you have to multiply by this whole thing, okay? So 16 da, 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 minus, yeah, correct. So 14, so you get, your answer is RM696.74. Since the question asked for the nearest RM, so this will be equivalent to approximately RM697. That's your answer.